Right, so, so explain cool. to me now <laughs> why you find that hard to watch. I don't know. I mean, I, I know when the experience is over, I'll most probably love watching it, but when you're in it, it becomes... It completely takes over your life and you when you watch it you feel the nerves a little bit of what you feel on a Saturday night really it's, yeah it's because you work hard all week and then you get there on a Saturday and I always have that moment of I think I've forgotten what I've got to do like yeah. 10 minutes yeah. before I can't remember the first step what am I meant to do and it's just the nerves kind of get you but I'm loving it I but mean... it's strange with you because a you're brilliant I mean you're really really good but also you've performed so many times I mean you have you are a performer that's you're a singer you've been on stage in front of so many people yeah so yeah. I'm surprised that you'd find it so nerve-wracking. I think it's what... I think when I've gone on stage in the past, I go out as me. Um, it's what I'm going out to perform is something that has come from me from stage one. So it's singing a song that I've been in the studio yeah. recording, doing, a, you know, moves that I've done a million times. And if I don't do them, no-one cares. I can just do what I want to do. There's I can no walk up and there. down the stage. <laughs> um, I think on Strictly, as, as amazing as it is, I think the nerves come into play for me is because afterwards you have to walk and you have to hear what the judges say and then you have to hope that people at home like what you're doing and yeah. vote. So you feel slightly more pressure to deliver. Mm. Well, when it's just me and, you know, I can just go out and do what I want and nobody really says anything. But yeah. the experience has, has been incredible and it's been great for me to get out and do something for myself well yeah because this is what you've said that this is the first time since having the kids yeah. you've actually indulged yourself and thought actually yeah. I'm gonna go and do my rehearsals and I'm gonna do this for me do you know it took me ages to, to pluck up the courage purely because I've got two boys got... and it just got to the stage where I was at home waiting for them always to come back from football from cricket thinking I spend a long time hanging around waiting for these guys so when the opportunity came in I thought you know what this is I feel like I need to do a little something for me. I forgot a little bit what it was like to be back out there yeah. and, and to enjoy something. And like you said, coming from a performing background, it is the nearest I'm ever going to get to being back on stage and performing. And it's kind of like that last chance saloon a little bit. I've just, I've loved getting back out there and just moving and doing yeah, something. Yeah, well, beautiful to watch. Well, you mentioned uh, the two boys yes. there. And, uh, and that leads us on to uh, <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Uh, and this, of course, your partner, <laughs> Kevin, yeah. who um, who is known as the fertility king. The fertility king. <laughs> Apparently so, yes. Did you know about this before no. you signed up? <laughs> no, I didn't know about this. But Frankie Bridge is a, a good friend of mine, and obviously when she um, finished Strictly, she went on to have a baby, and then Kelly, who was also Kevin's partner, right. finished Strictly and went on to have a baby. So now the joke is... We should point out they're not his. <laughs> they're not his, no, they're not his. <laughs> With their husbands, obviously. <laughs> Um, so, yes, yeah, so I think I mentioned in an interview that I'd really like a girl. So now everyone's saying, well, maybe he'll be your lucky charm yeah. and you can go and have a girl. Would you like another one? Are you thinking about it? Do you know, yeah, you know, it's one of those things that I... For me, fertility, it's been well documented. I didn't have my first son easily. It took me a long time, it took me four years to have him. The second one, four weeks, so how that worked, I'll never know. But yeah. um, So I, I, I think, for me, with the, another baby, I never take it for granted, but it's not something that... I would rule out, obviously, <laughs> but if it happens, we'll see. So exciting! Yeah, do well, it. <laughs> Jack, Jack Whitehall's been uh, winding Jamie up, hasn't he, on the Strictly Curse? Oh, I think we've yeah. we've seen this a couple, two or three times. They might mention it on the John of the Rush. Show oh the yeah, other night. he gets given a terrible time on his program on League of Their Own. I mean, they're constantly winding him up. So, mm. but do you know what's been great for me about Strictly is. I mean, Kevin's a great partner, and he's brilliant, and his wife's on the show, which is is amazing, and she's really helpful but the boys and Jamie come down and really participate in rehearsals like my kids are at an age now where they actually use the dance floor studio as practicing their sliding tackles and because it's shiny like and what do they think of your dancing because it, it, it like you said this is the first time you've done anything for you so this must be the first time really that they fully understand what what mum does yeah I think it is, especially for the younger one we had a rehearsal day where your kids could all come and watch and um, everybody said to me after we actually couldn't watch you because we were just watching your youngest son that was almost mesmerized that he was watching you dance like and then sort of afterwards they'd sort of do fake scores you know just so you know where you're meant to be standing and they I got some tens in there and he stood up like it was the real thing but it's his first experience of seeing me yeah. do anything yeah. other than maybe sitting and doing an interview or something so. and how are the rehearsals going now for Saturday yeah, I mean, I'm just one day in. I always have meltdown Monday, stressful right. Tuesday, start to think I know what I'm doing on Wednesday and fall apart on Thursday. Oh, so no. it's like, you know. <laughs> but I think everybody that does the show has the same thing. Yeah. They all go in on a Monday because... 
this week I was doing the Paso and then this week I've got the Wolf. So they couldn't be more different, more different, completely different minds. And you're doing the tour as well? Yes. Oh, yes. that's exciting. Yeah, doing the tour. I, I thought the tour would be fab because that would be my opportunity to take the kids along yeah. and to involve my friends and family with children. And I have so many people that want to come, come and watch, it, yeah. and especially with the kids. And I thought the tour would be a great opportunity to take everyone down and sort of enjoy it, all the family. Well, we are well, loving luck. watching yeah, you. Do you great. have a winner in your head? Is it you? No, God, I, everybody's so good this year. Do you know, I'm, I know everybody can say it, but each week is a real bonus. And for me, it's a little bit about learning the dance and just enjoying every moment of it. And I think the minute you start thinking about winning or, you know, I've got to be there on this day, I think is the minute it becomes really stressful. So I'm just going to... That's what Danny said. Yeah. Danny Matt was in here yesterday yeah. and said the minute it becomes a competition in your head, then the fun goes out. Yeah. yeah. I just want to enjoy it and take it for what it is and do my best and get well, out Well, we'll really look great. forward yeah. to uh, having you on the sofa again when you announce that you're pregnant with your daughter. <laughs> No pressure. <laughs> Get to work there, Kevin, with your, with your magic, whatever <laughs> that may be. Thanks for watching. Click here for more This Morning videos.